Hey everybody, Cam Russell here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to be getting out of a rut, minimizing the downs and accepting reality. So I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while, but today particularly I had a, you know, I, I felt myself in one of those ruts um, that uh, I am almost all too familiar with. I, you know, I have these ruts, not, uh, not all the time, but I definitely have them from time to time. And uh, I know many people out there uh, experience the same things and sometimes a lot worse and uh, a lot longer as well. You know, I, I'm talking days, I've been able to minimize my ruts and, and my downturns, but I know before I used to be experiencing them in weeks and months, and I know some people out there still do. And so I really want to uh, reflect on what I've been doing you know, to, to minimize it to, to within days and be able to capture it within that day. So hopefully when you guys start to find yourself in these ruts that you can actually go ahead and use some of these things that I'm doing um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So when it does come up, you're able to catch it like that. And that's really what I've been able to do with myself is over, um, over the time as I've been experiencing these and slowly, you know, catching on uh, to the patterns that we see and, and that we, you know, act on from our habits and our beliefs of, you know, when we have down days, everybody has these beliefs as to why we're having a down day, but what's that objective truth as to what that is and how to uh, dissect it very objectively and understand it being extremely truthful, not only to what it is, but to yourself and saying, this is the reason and getting to that, that root cause. And then not only getting to that root cause, but then taking it and making a change that's going to actually solve that root cause, not just band aid, but solve the root cause and put either systems or actions or new belief systems into your world and into your life that is ultimately going to minimize those downs and, and hopefully, you know, over time going to remove the reasons as to why you're in that rut. Now, to say that when you're in a rut, it only comes in one shape. That is, if you're telling yourself that that you're only getting ruts because of one reason, you are, you know, disillusioned um, and you're creating illusion on yourself and, and ultimately fooling yourself. The one thing that I found is ruts come in all shapes and sizes and from all different directions and angles. Um, and sometimes the same reason that puts you in a rut can come back even if you've identified that root cause, but in a different angle that you weren't aware of up until, you know, it happens. And so, you know, the, the interesting thing and the cool thing actually is I've started to shift my perspective on it and started to call them learning days. And I'll, I'll discuss that because really when it happens, it, it's almost an opportunity for me to really understand being 22 years old, some of the things that do come up in life and how, you know, you, you should be approaching it. Um, and so let's, let's get into the video. You know, I think there's a few things that I do want to cover here. Um, I don't want to make it too long, but I want to make sure that you guys can take some, some actionable steps away from it, especially if you are in a rut right now. Um, like I said, I literally just came off the day of having one of those learning days. Um, and part of today's learning lesson was documenting the process and really understanding, you know, what I've been doing almost naturally over the time of minimizing these. And I wanted to share it. So one of the biggest things about ruts is, um, if you don't catch it, it continues on and on and on. And typically, you know, if we want to start off by saying what is a rut, um, or, you know, a down or, um, some people could even uh, label it as depression if it if it goes long enough because you're in a negative mood for over a prolonged period of time and I would pretty much label that as depression and so you know what that looks like is is you're in a negative mood you're not yourself you are experiencing things that you don't normally experience on a day-to-day -day basis your mood could be down your energy levels could be down you know things just aren't going your way um, and all in all you know, it's just, it's just not a pleasant time, right? You're not able to achieve or you feel very drained and, and you're not, you, you can't do anything. You, there's, you don't see yourself progressing at all, right? And you, you feel like you're spinning the tires um, is a good analogy to use. And so 
you know, one thing I like to initially do is just accept the reality that I'm in a rut. Um, again, when I first started to experience this, this was not the case. I became, I, I used to be very harsh towards myself when I found myself not progressing and not moving forward because, you know, when I was 18, 19, 20, being an ambitious kid, you know, thinking that every day needs to be a good day and there could be no down days. So when I had those down days, down weeks, down month, I almost fed it because I didn't recognize that like these happened and you need to learn from them. My mentality used to be, you know, why are you doing this? Stop doing this. And in all reality, especially if you're young, um, and even if you're not young, you know, I'm sure I'm going to be experiencing these, these down days, but hopefully they will be a lot shorter and, and more minor for most of my life. Um, but when you're young, you, you experience a lot of them because there's a lot of new things and actions that you're taking and combination of actions and habits and scenarios and situations and environments that, that can cause these and, and uh, spark these ruts or these downturns. And so the one, the one really big thing was I used to be extremely harsh on myself. Now, uh, a big part of it is allowing myself just to embrace it and accept the reality that is that, hey, you know, you're off, right? And I think that's the biggest, the, the first thing is saying you're off right now and there's something going on and accept that. Don't be harsh about yourself. Just understand and recognize that, hey, something is going on. And once you can get to that level and just become aware that these days, weeks, months are happening, as soon as you become aware of it and, and not be critical, but be almost empathetic, but not to the point where it's like, oh, it's okay, right? No bullshit like that. You know, you're still trying to achieve stuff. You're still trying to get back on the horse and go. But allowing yourself to be okay and accept that you aren't your normal self. And I think that's the biggest stepping stone for me that really switched the, the perspective and the mood of, of these days and weeks, right? And, and how I started to label it is instead of having a slack off day or you're slacking or you're not yourself, I started to label them as learning days. And when I have these and I recognize them, I let myself embrace it and recognize and, and perceive it as a learning day now. And here's some of the things that I do in a learning day um, because I've been able to minimize it to the day within the 24 hours. So typically, and this is when it becomes extremely powerful, when it happens, I can now have the last 24 hours in my mind of what I can do or what I've, sorry, what I've done in the past 24 hours, that what action, belief, thought, habit that, that sparked it and created this. And so the first thing is, is I go back on the last 24 hours and say, Hey, what actions or what thoughts, what beliefs was an outlier to my normal typical day that could potentially be the reason that I'm in this situation. Okay. And start to list those and start to really think back on what that is, you know, whether you're getting some pen and paper or you're getting on your computer and typing it out, or you're just pondering, I urge, I urge pen and paper. I think that's the best way to go about it. Um, but go about and, and, and recall the last 24 hours as soon as you became aware of it and say, Hey, what was those outliers from whether it be again, thoughts, your beliefs that changed a different habit or a different action you took that you don't normally take on a regular basis that, you know, you, you can perform well, that might've, you know, shifted things and made, made, uh, made the change. And so for me using the example today is I stayed up a little later, right? And it wasn't actually, and this is a good point. I stayed up a little later. It wasn't because I was trying to, I couldn't fall asleep. So there's not the root cause. And now I need to go and look for the root cause, but I stayed up a little bit later when I went to sleep and I woke up and checked my aura ring. Okay. If you don't know what an aura ring is, it's a little ring that tracks your sleep. If you look at the back here, I actually have it pulled up here cause I just finished tracking today's results. Um, and I go through all the sleep stats as well as my performance stats to keep a, a record on how I'm feeling and how I'm performing throughout the day. And what I did is as soon as I looked at my aura ring, I noticed I was below seven hours of sleep. My body temperature was up. Okay. 
And another thing was, is I had a lot of awake time, meaning I was very restless throughout the day or throughout the, the nights when I was sleeping. And so that instantly started to, you know, throw, throw them things in my mind of, you know, there's something going on here. But, you know, nonetheless, when, when that typically happens, I just try to forget about it, go about my morning routine. And about, you know, three hours into the day after I started my day, I instantly hit a crash and I knew that, you know, going into a rut and I got to start to analyze what's going on and, and really accept that it's happening. Okay. So for me, again, I, I went back on those last 24 hours and said, what was going on? Right. And I can easily go back and, and start to identify, okay, I'm below seven hours. That typically means, that typically means something could be up. And in this case, yes, it was. And so now if I reflect back, well, I had a coffee um, past two o'clock yesterday, as well as I worked out closer or, or I, I guess you could say I worked out um, before I went to bed a little too, too late in the night. And so now I'm starting to understand what those root causes of the situation are. Okay. So what you want to do is you really want to get down. Maybe, maybe the, the, the problem comes out as, oh, I only I got under seven hours of sleep, but why do you get only seven hours of sleep? Okay. So really want to dig down um, to the root cause once you start to analyze those last 24 hours. Okay. The next thing I would be doing is saying, well, what can you do about that? And my, in my case, it's easy. Um, really, it was a slip up, but nonetheless, it resulted in my time was I drank coffee too late in the day, resulting in, you know, not being able to sleep. And I worked out too late, not allowing my body to, to recover soon enough to go to bed and my body to go into more of a relaxed state. Okay. Um, and then the next thing is, what are some of the things that you can be doing to be ensuring whether that putting a system in place or just recognizing so this stuff doesn't happen again? All right. Now, if in the case of, you know, a longer term rut that you see yourself staying in that rut for a prolonged period of time, or you've been in a, in a rut for a prolonged period of time, one thing that I find extremely helpful is reflecting on your progress, not during the rut, but just as your life as a whole. Um, I actually have a sheet and multiple documents that I keep uh, updated that allows me to go back and reflect on all the things that I've achieved and done and see how I've progressed in the last month, two months, whatever I want to go back to, to ultimately instantly give me that morale boost of saying like, Hey, I, I was very narrow minded in tunnel vision to this period of time, two days, three days, four days that, way, that I'm in the rut. But when I take that time to reflect on what I've been able to do in the last month, two months, and all of a sudden, without fail, I can instantly flip my mood. And that's one of the, probably the biggest things that have helped me in times of ruts is being able to go back and reflect on, especially if you're in a rut for specific reasons. Say, you know, my, I just can't, nothing's working out for me in work right now. And each morning I'll wake up, I try to get something done. I just can't get it done. There's no progress. I'm not finding any success for a couple of days, I'm going to go and look at what I've done specifically with my work in the past week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever months, um, whatever it is reflective for you, but I can reflect on what I've done. Again, if you haven't done that, I highly recommend listing it out at the time, or if you do have a document, you know, you'll be able to understand quickly how useful and impactful that will be without fail. Um, being able to check things out and just take the time and reflect on where you've come to this point because it's not a straight linear line. It is ups and downs. And sometimes when you're, when you feel stuck in that down, you got to remind yourself of where you actually are in the grand scheme of things. And so reflecting it out is one of the biggest things that has helped me over time that anytime I'm in a rut, I go to reflecting it out, reflecting it out, reflecting it out. Now, some of the other quick wins that you can be doing, going out inside walking, okay? Just going for a walk, you'll be amazed at how, how quickly that can change your mood. Listening to some good music, okay? Going and hanging out with positive people, all right? Listening um, to, and I, and I urge on this, uh, or I caution on this, 
I wouldn't say motivational stuff, but empowering information or reading a book. Those are amazing. I wouldn't say motivational stuff, reading self-help or and, and positive information. Like for example, I have a book here, um, The Leading Brain, okay? Great book, but it has some positive information. I think that was upside down. Um, has some amazing information in it that if I can start putting some new fresh ideas in my mind and start getting myself away from the negative talk and the negative thoughts that I've been having over these couple of days or within the couple hours, I find reading or listening to some audiobooks is an amazing way. So, you know, going out for a walk, listening to some music, dancing, if, if you really, you know, uh, want to go there, I personally sometimes will get up and jive when I really hear a good song. Um, those are some super quick ways and you'll instantly find your physiology changing from going from slouch to up and, and feeling really much more empowered and in control and confident when you're doing some of those more active things um, mentally or physically. So, but I, I urge you really to wrap this video up. I urge you, I urge you, I urge you is when you have down days, down weeks, look at them as learning weeks, learning days. Don't be harsh on yourself. Do not criticize yourself. It is super important that you're, that you're maintaining that neutral or positive view on the situation that's happening right now. Because the moment you become negative, you're feeding the down. The moment you start to become aware and pull yourself and separate yourself, or even start to look at it as a good thing and like, hey, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm in this downturn, but I know it's what I need right now, okay? Look for the reasons and the outliers that could spark it. Identify those, record them, go back in the last 24 hours, go back in the last week. Typically, if it, it, it and this is a good key, typically if it's a week or a month, it will most likely be a much bigger catalyst. So it'd be easier to go back and identify if you don't have it recorded, okay? S small things like, you know, um, you got cut off when you're driving or you know you're you you had takeout food and you dropped it or whatever the case may be those smaller things they might affect you for the day but there's no way or it shouldn't be and you have bigger problems if it does um affect you for weeks on end so if they are a week if you are in a week rut or if you are in a month rut they're going to be much more bigger catalysts so sometimes it's better to think a, a level up when you're looking at them from a longer term perspective. Now, again, when you're looking at the day, look at the last 24 hours and really identify what were the outliers that you might've been having that uh, could cause you know, a change in habit and a change in rhythm um, that, that, that is putting you in this situation, okay? Once you've identified it, how can you put something in place and make sure you're not doing it again? Write that down, put a system in place, whether it's you know on paper or in your routine, make sure that you're not doing it again. Again, it might come up in a different perspective or a different way, but the way that it came up this time shouldn't be coming back if you're documenting and understanding why, okay? And then the, la the last thing is just, again, reflect it out, reflect it out, reflect it out. That is the number one way I've been able to pull, pull myself out of it is look back on what I've achieved up until this date as to now why, sure, I'm in the downturn um, in my work or in my health or you know with my energy or relationships, but how far have I come in my, in my work so far? How far have I come with my physical or my mental being or my wealth? Look at those, be objective about that. Sometimes objectivity can actually increase your emotional or your emotional, emotional morale, right? So I, I think that's it for, for now. Um, I know um, I, wanna, I wanna share this with you. Um, a guy by the name of Sam Ovens who I got this from actually has a version that you can download. It, I think it's in um, a video called uh, Sleep Wins or Sleep to Win or something like that on his uh, YouTube. So check that out if you want his version of this. I've custom mine and made it all pretty um, to identify stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna make a video on this because this is very much in line with what I'm talking about and it's helped me immensely 
stay out of ruts, minimize the downs, and accept the reality. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys can take some tidbits out of this, and I hope you guys get out of your rut if you are in one right now. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, drop a comment, like the video if you found value in it. I'm actually going to be going in and replying to anyone that does uh, that does hit me up with any questions. So till next time, guys. Peace.